Hey, Steve Soretsky here. I wanted to put together a quick video on uh, CMHC's release of what they call a red flag. Uh, basically problematic. They've now considered Vancouver to be overvalued. And, you know, this obviously raises problematic conditions, quote unquote. Uh, what's funny is that uh, they now consider Vancouver overvalued. Um, I think it's been there for a number of years now. I'm yeah, obviously this is a very delayed message. I think the damage has clearly already been done. Uh, why they're just putting it out now is beyond me. I just wanted to, to obviously touch on a few things. Basically, I think one of the first things is people are all concerned with these new mortgage lending policies, uh, restricting first time home buyers getting into the market, making it you know that much more challenging. Um, and a lot of people, pundits are coming out and saying, oh, these are the unintended consequences that they don't realize that they're doing. Uh, the president and I believe it was the CEO of uh, CMHC actually came out and wrote a piece uh, in the Globe and Mail and basically said no these are intended consequences we full we know full well what we're doing we're trying to discourage people to buy right now because they feel that the market is obviously overvalued overheated and they want these high-risk buyers basically out of the market or uh, buying things that are more affordable for them so these are fully intended consequences they have full intentions to cool the market um, but again it just kind of raises the you know the question is why did it take so long uh, from CMHC's definition this is from CH CMHC's definition of affordable housing is basically they qualify that as affordable housing is housing that you spend no more than 30% of your pre-tax income on housing so no more than 30% of your pre-tax family home income on housing uh, so basically in 2014 your average family income pre-tax was seventy six thousand uh, dollars if you want to be safe let's call it 2016 let's call it eighty thousand dollars I think that's more than generous it's actually one of the lowest wages still in Canada even though we have the highest home prices here uh, so eighty thousand is your average uh, family income pre-tax Based on that, you're most likely looking at obviously a condo or potentially a townhouse. So you're going to have the strata fees, property taxes, insurance, all that stuff, which basically means that you're, if you're an average family making $80,000, you can afford a $400,000 condo or townhouse um, in Vancouver. But of course, for $400,000, what can you get? You cannot get a townhouse in Greater Vancouver. Uh, for the MLS search, I was only able to turn down turn up why, uh, one townhouse, which was came out in Port Moody. Uh, that was under 400,000. It was a teardown, in my opinion. You actually have to look further out into the valley, and I'm not talking some of the more desirable areas in the valley and the outskirts. I'm actually talking about Wally. So there's some townhouses available in, in, in Wally and Surrey there that are under 400. Cloverdale and Langley had some townhouses that were under 400,000. So, and if you want even to further options, you have to go even further out. I'm talking uh, like Abbotsford uh, was one of them. So, really far out then obviously you're factoring your commute times that adds up so basically i mean affordability wise you're actually if you want to, if you want to fall under cmhc's rules of 30 percent you actually are pretty much limited to about a two-bedroom condo in the outskirts uh 400 000 won't even get you a townhouse in in much of uh greater vancouver metro vancouver here um, even in the Fraser Valley, that's going to be extremely difficult to get a townhouse under 400000 So why did it take CMHC so long to raise the red flag? You know, we've had multiple offers, dozens of offers on every single home you can think possible. Um, even by their definition, you can't get anything that's affordable. So why did it take so long? I don't know. I think that uh, they have, you know, a right, a due diligence to look out for people's best interests why they didn't raise or sound the warning bells longer, I don't know. But I just found it interesting that their own definition of 30% pre-tax income and you cannot get a townhouse uh, even for that. So most people are gonna be stuck to renting, which again is fine. Um, I don't believe everyone has the right or deserves to own or makes sense to own. But uh, definitely it's interesting that CMHC took so long to do that.